Hello everyone. Today I want to do a review on one of the products that I mentioned in my TJ Maxx haul and it is the Jason Relaxing Chamomile Body Wash. And this is what the container looks like. It's a huge bottle. And I went through that bottle that I shared with you shared with you in that haul. And I just flew through it because it's such a like relaxing, just like what it says, it's such a relaxing type of body wash. So I I can't just explain to you how amazing it makes me feel. But I truly am being genuinely honest when I say this. If you love body washes this is one that you will want to look for. I highly recommend. This is one that you will really want to look for, especially if you like chamomile. Um, and I'm trying to look at what other fragrance may be in here. Um, so, so far it has the chamomile. And it has the Marchi Car Carrara. Marchi Korea Flower Abstract. And that's pretty much the only floral um, possible fragrance that I see. But this is amazing. Like, But anyhow, so I recently um, saw this particular fragrance and another, two other fragrances and Marshalls and I pick up two bottles this is one of the bottles that I'm currently using I got another one on backup but as long as I could keep finding these especially at my local Marshalls and TJ Maxx I'm gonna keep buying these because they are it just has the best lather the best fragrance and it just I just feel like it just communicates just like like peacefulness like I'm trying to find a way to express this to you like I feel such a strong calmness and I really love it when I use it before I go to bed uh, when I'm taking a shower or you know if I'm doing a bubble bath most of the time it's a shower I feel so ready for sleep like whatever they use in the fragrance in this is just it's super calming it's a relaxing type of body wash and there are scents that are calming to our bodies and no chamomile, chamomile is one, lavender, um, some kind of um, eucalyptus like spearmint, like different types of scents that really put our body at ease so say like if you're trying to unwind for the day like if you've been working long hours or you just had a really hard day or you just feel stressed in general you know you just want to relax this body wash would do you so much good like you will feel 100% better and if you don't you could come back and say you promised me that this is going to make me feel better and did make me feel better and my body still feel tense. I did say it was a cure for all. However, it is one of those self-care methods that you can do, especially if you are a person who loves bubble baths, if you're a person who loves taking showers, and especially if you're a person who are very drawn to scents, essential oils, those types of fragrances. You know, this is a body wash that is very good. So again, it's a Jason Relaxing Chamomile Body Wash. And it's to relieve and nourish with the chamomile ash grad. It has vitamin E and pro-vitamin B5. There's no parabens, hard sulfates, petrolatum, or phthalates. This is a 30 fluids ounce bottle that comes with the pump. And it says on the back, this gentle wash cleanses with botanical surfactants and safely nourishes with vitamin E and pro-vitamin B5. Our blend of common chamomile ash 
and richly moisturizing avocado oil relieves your skin and provides a soft and smooth finish. Um, so basically it just says apply to your damp skin, whether you're in a bath or shower, gently massage into a lather and rinse, cleanse with warm water. And again, um, some of the good ingredients that are in here, it has water, first ingredient, um, cocoa betaine, sodium lower, sulfo acetate, aloe, barbadisus, leaf juice, calendula, officialis, flower ash grad, so basically calendula. Chamomilla, Ricutita, parenthesis, Matricaria, flower ash grad, spirulina, maximal ash grad, clove, flower oil, sunflower seed oil, avocado oil, apricot corn oil, and those are the main essential ingredients. Then they have, towards the end of the list, some other um, ingredients. Um, that I guess is just part of the formula um, that I tend to see in some of the other like body wash and facial care but I personally like they say if you can't pronounce the words sometimes I just think cause I think this is a natural my opinion I think this is a natural body wash but it's not 100% natural there are some ingredients I think that are a little bit questionable in here, but I don't think I don't think they will be the the ingredients that will be harmful to your body. But again, you want to do your research and always read the back of the label labels for the ingredients, um, just to be aware of what you're buying and what you're putting on your skin. And they do have asterisks to the ingredients that are certified organic. So I like it. And I'm going to continue to use it because it makes me feel very relaxed. And I just love the fragrance. Like I am very driven by scents, fragrances, essential oils. And I love things that make me think about like especially when I'm going to sleep that makes me feel like it's time to go to sleep like it's time to put your body at ease it's time to close your eyes not think about anything else and just go to sleep I apply how I use this body wash I use it with my eco tools loofah sponge so look how big this sponge is and it says to replace your loofah sponge, at least equal to it says replace the sponge, I think every three to six months or maybe every three months, maybe six months, I don't quite remember, but I would say every six months, every three months if you're someone who just rotates out your um, loofah sponge. But I really like this sponge and my body is, I think, picky when it comes to loofahs and usually with loofahs I prefer them to be very light and very gentle to my skin. If it feels harsh or very scratchy I can't use loofahs. Like I really like very gentle loofah sponges to use for my body wash um, because again my skin gets very like sensitive and if it feels like I'm just like using a piece of um what's I'm trying to think of like a scratch board or um you know like the scratch paper like when you're sanding sandpaper yeah that's it when it, like if it feels like sandpaper and it's just scratch like um, grabbing at my skin like I cannot use those loofahs so before usually before I pick out a loofah I do feel around the loofah feel how soft it is I squeeze it um, and I just want to get a good feel of it but I if you are someone who is like me who have sensitive skin and 
you your body don't take easily to anything that has scratchy material. I recommend the Inco Tools Lufa Sponge, and I purchased this from Target. And I want to think I paid no more than three or four dollars for it. It's very inexpensive, and it's a very soft. 100% very soft loofah sponge. I absolutely love it. So I apply some lather to the loofah and I just gently like massage all over my body with it. And I just, I just love it. And the loofah basically smells just like the body wash. So when I'm done and I need to air dry it, I either hang it on the hood next to, um, Base of the window because I have like glass windows over my over my shower, so I'll hang it on the the little hook door that you have to close um, the shower completely. I hang it on the hook or I hang it on the back of the door um, to let it air dry. And I don't know why I just went on that tangent telling you what I do with the sponge, but. Um, that's what I do, so I let it hang dry. I do have cats, so I try to, if I'm going to hang it near the shower door, I need to make sure to remember to remove it. So far, I have gone and left it there and completely forgot it was there, um, the whole day or the next day. It was just hanging there. Thank God the cats didn't see it and thought it was a toy and started dragging it around the house. So I thought about just kind of leaving it there so it's easily for me to reach and grab um, during my shower. But I think, you know, to say that, I better not because I do have one cat in particular who can be very feisty. And if Cusco gets her hands on it, I can completely guarantee that it will become her toy. And she loves to grab. She has her own little toys anyway. But she'll love to grab anything that's new or she know it's mine. Um, so, again, another tangent. So, this is where I keep the loofah sponge. And, um, yeah, I really love this body wash. I do think it lasts for, I think, I say for a good month or maybe a month into the second part of the, like, a month and a half, I would say. Or sooner, because I ran through that first bottle. Um, but that's just me, because I just go crazy, and I just start pumping um, the body wash on the loofah, like, three times. Like, I don't need that much soap, obviously, but I just think it's fun to keep pumping more soap um, onto the loofah sponge. I'm weird. So, um, I do highly recommend this. Um, it does leather up super well. It feels creamy, like a creamy leather that's on my skin. Um, when you rinse it off, it doesn't leave any kind of film on your body. There's no stickiness. Um, it just feels really good. Like, my skin has been loving it so much. And then, once I'm done with that, I just apply, like, a body butter or I go in with some shea moisture um, to put on my skin, and then I call it a I call it a night or I call it a day. And if I'm taking a shower in the morning time, I just apply something to hold in that moisture. So I think it's a good body wash, um, especially for the price at seven ninety nine. I think the regular price for this body wash, and I put it in the um, TJ Maxx haul how much it costs online, but this bottle is somewhere near $20 like it is expensive and um, usually with natural um like natural products that you found in your sprouts your whole foods or um like your local um your local like whole food markets I'm trying to think of another word but it's not coming to me um, they, usually these things can be very pricey. So if you could find this on a discount, Amazon, anywhere, um, they may carry Jason line. 
I say rack up, get them, and just save them in your house, especially once you buy one, buy one bottle first and see if you like it, because like I say, just because I recommend it doesn't mean that you will like it, I just recommend it because I like it, and I want to think when I'm sharing things with my audience that I'm sharing something that I truly feel that I like. And I think that you all will like, especially for my body wash lovers out there, like, this is something that I like. Um, so, again, that's a Jason Relaxing Chamomile Body Wash. So, pros, um, it has affordable price if you find it at Marshalls or TJ Maxx. It has a lot of good healthy ingredients. Um, it has a beautiful fragrance. It does do as it says. It's a relaxing body wash. I do feel relaxed when I use it. Um, it is easily accessibly found in stores. Hopefully in your neck of the woods you can find it. Um, I love the quantity in the bottle. So if I want, um, you know, have a big bottle that will last me for a while, it comes in a good size. Um, any more pros and I love that the labels that they use on it because it is waterproof so if you do keep it in your in your bath area like your shower or along the rims of your tub area and water gets on it it's not going to like lose the um, information like on the labels it's waterproof so I think that's a good thing. So it's back and front waterproof labeling, uh, which is good because sometimes when you keep things stored in your bathroom, there's moisture from the heat of your shower or your bath. And sometimes, even if it's not directly near your shower and bath, it can still evapor evaporate or the... Um, the coloring, the like, the worry and everything can start to fade off because of where the um, bottle is being stored. So I think that is a good thing that they use label, uh, waterproof labels for their packaging. As far as cons, the only con I would say, and it's not like a huge biggie to me, is that I wish that the ingredients would just stay to the healthier ingredients in the bottle. Um, there are um, some ingredients towards the end of the ingredient list that are a little bit um, questionable to me. So I just prefer them not to use it. They could just keep it 100% natural. So just the oils and um, the ash scraps, those different things. Um, but I'm sure some of the things that may be used in it is used as some kind of preservative or something to that nature. So it's not a hang up for me because obviously I'm still using it. So it's not a hang up for me. Um, I absolutely love it. So that's my review on the Jason Relaxing Chamomile Body Wash. And um, I really like it. And if you, you know, are looking for a gift to give to somebody, you have body wash lovers in your family, I encourage you to give them a bottle of this because it's really good. And we do, we do need things that can make us feel relaxed. You know, we do need things that can nourish our body and our skin. And I hope for all all companies moving into the future will become more eco um, eco conscious and continue to provide us with products that are very um, earthy like more close to the earth the national natural elements more plant-based more um, infused with good ingredients um, that I think will be nourishing for us because um, I know, and this is just my um, two cents before I end this video, I know that some ingredients can be on the price ends of things, and if they do provide, they may have to increase the cost on it. 
But I still think that good healthy ingredients can be made without a hike in the price range, um, especially when it's in the benefit of care for everyone on this planet. Um, so that's just my opinion. Um, so I do, again, appreciate you all for taking your time to watch this review. I hope that the information that I share is helpful for you. Definitely look in your local TJ Maxx and your Marshalls and maybe your Ross and see, look through their skincare. You'll be amazed of the things that you will find in those stores and at a really good reasonable price which I absolutely love like I know when I want to find skincare I'm going to TJ Maxx or Marshalls to look for my skincare um, unless if I decide to find something I really like and it's not accessible in those stores and I just want it then I order online or if I can find it on the ground, I'll find it in the store where it's provided. But, you know, again, I love to provide budget-friendly, good skincare on my channel. And again, I've said, Ajua, adios, until I do another video again. I don't know what I'm saying. I may have to edit this part out, or maybe not. Um, but I just did a makeup look, so definitely check that out on my beauty channel, that's O Life Beauty, here on YouTube, and I will be sharing that video for the makeup beauty lovers out there. So again, take care, and be good to one another, and I'll see you in the next video.